Welcome to Aaron Plays. In this episode, I will be doing an upfront scenario. I was inspired to do this by the excellent uh, videos by Ken McAllahaney um, on how to play this game solo. So I am going to attempt to play this solo using the instructions which are at the back of the Banzai rulebook. And um, as a, advocated by Ken on his video, and um, see how it goes. So in this, at present, I have set up scenario A, as I've described, with the Germans playing versus the Americans. I will be using all the rules up to, and I'll be using all the rules up to including infiltration. Um, so not going into demo charges or anything um, more advanced than that, which I'll bring in in scenario B. Um, however, I will also bring in the entrenched rules as well. So with that in mind, um, I will draw the initial hands for each faction and only look at two for the Germans and three for the Americans. So there are rules explanations of the game as well, but I will explain rules as I go along um, as well. So as you can see with the Germans, I put them into two groups and the Americans have done the same. The victory conditions for A are to get four of these men into to relative range four, relative range zeros at the present moment, in terrain that produces a negative firepower against them. So, drawing cards, I will draw the Americans. They get five, uh, sorry, six cards. And I'm going to look at three of them. And do the same for the Germans. We get five. And I'm going to look at all of their cards because they get to place terrain first. So. All right. Okay, so the pillbox has no effect in this scenario whatsoever. It's a cover card for all sides. The building, the first six buildings, I believe it's six, it could be four. Let me check. Well, it's not six and it's not four, it's five. So the first five buildings cannot be used um, and they are removed from the game. So the Germans might as well do that now. Uh, let me minimize the screen a little bit. I'll place that in the remove from game pile. You can see there's a counter there. That's very nice. That wasn't in the original vessel module. So that must be a, a new feature. So at this point, the Germans will declare no terrain placement. Okay. Zoom in a little bit on the map. There we go. Okay, so at a point the Americans will place a terrain guard on this group. Uh, we can also now look at the other three cards. Okay, so they place the terrain there, they pass it back to the Germans. Germans again declare no terrain placement. Back to the Americans who can and will place those guys in the woods. Back to the Germans, no terrain placement. Back to the Americans who now declare no terrain placement. So that's initial terrain done. I will now draw two cards for the Americans, which I will keep. Unknown. One card for the Germans, which I'll now know about, and ready to start the game. Okay, so looking at that, um, the, the German hand um, <coughs> is a bit rubbish. Uh, they've got two fire cards they definitely cannot use, and one card, which they can, this group, 
It's only got a very low firepower requirement. However, rather keep that for those guys moving. So let's get rid of the car that's definitely useless. So discard the pillbox and draw a card, which I know nothing about. Okay, so now it goes over to the American players. Let's flip, see what they've actually got. Right, so remember in the victory conditions. Okay, the first player to have at least four unpinned personality cards in one or more non-infiltrated groups at range fit for accompanying any terrain which will reduce the fire strength of an attack against them is the winner. Now I'll give them the proper definition. Okay, so me waffling on. Right, so again, the Americans have no terrain in there. So is it worth them starting to move forward now or wait until they get a terrain card? Remember, they, they can discard two cards as long as they do no actions on either group. So they will do that. Again, this fire card is useless. So we will delete that card. Oh. Drawing two cards that I do not know about. Okay, passing back to the Germans. All right, let's flip this, see what they, they drew. All right, uh, can't use that, but I think they might keep it just in case because they've got other cards they can discard at this stage. These very high firepower cards, which they will do so. Present this discard pile and draw a card. So the Germans can discard one card and still do actions on each group. However, they haven't found anything that's worth doing yet. So, oh, I shouldn't have flipped that. Shouldn't have flipped that. Sorry, <laughs> Sorry guys. It'll take a little bit of, of, of um, remembering. Back over to the Americans. Okay, so that marsh ain't great. Um, they probably want to, wouldn't want to move into that. This is okay, they've got a rally card here. So which two would they discard? This is a rally one. This is useful in case the Germans move forward. Okay, which we know they're not doing at the present moment, but let's keep that in mind. So we want to discard two cards. I think we'll discard this one. And that's useful as well. We definitely want a terrain card to move into. I think they will discard the marsh in the hope that they'll get two decent cards. Now, remember not to turn them over. Okay. So let's. Oh, look at that stream. I am so surprised. Okay. So the Germans still have got cards they can get rid of. As you can see, quite a lot of back and forth and just discard. There's actually nothing happened on the borders yet, but there we go. That's how upfront sometimes works. Get the discard pile for a card, which I will not look at. Okay. Back to the Americans. Ah, flip. Okay. Now they don't know, wouldn't know that the Germans have a stream card in there. So with that in mind, the whole plan has been to get moving. This here is the weaker of the groups that they have. You see this got morale one, morale four with the BAR, morale three, assistant squad leader, another morale one guy, morale two, morale two. So that is the fire group. This here is the move group. So let's move them. So they place a movement card, go up to range one. Okay. Now this card here requires five firepower to fire. Now at range zero, the only weapon that's got any firepower is the BAR. 
It's drowning too. So they haven't got enough firepower in this group as yet. Okay. So the aim on this group is to play the woods next turn. They've got concealment if they get fired at and rallying cards as well. So good at obviously they wouldn't know that at this stage that the Germans have the stream. Will the Germans play the stream? Would I play the stream? Absolutely. So they draw a card. Which I do not get to look at. Okay. Over the Germans. So I get to flip this card now. Sniper. That's a good discard. Streams a discard. Okay. And they got any actions. All right. So we have a moving group here. The Germans at range one. There's one firepower. Oh. Missed that. I should have crewed that. That would have been an automatic. Those two guys are crewed. Okay. So that's one firepower. The machine gun with the crew has got a firepower of five. So that's six. Seven. He doesn't supply. So they can accumulate seven firepower onto these guys, which they will do. So they will fire. Three firepower. Onto them. So that'd be three, plus one for movement, four, and minus two for the woods. So it's down to two. Okay, so let's see if this is better than a conceal one. It isn't. So they will play a conceal one to take that fire strength down to one. Okay, so we have our first resolution of fire, and these are resolved one to four that way, five, six that way. One firepower at the present moment. So this card will be affecting this man and so on. So one to four, five to six. Fire strength of one, flip. Remember, reds are negative, so that has no effect. Blacks are positive. Okay, so one on a four round, no problem. Five, one plus five is six. He is pinned. Bravo Greenwood. One, two, three. Round three, he's also pinned. Two morale. Well, he's a three, he's okay. And the last guy. Perfect. All right, so we'll discard those. Guard. Right, so that wasn't too bad a shot. So that was this group. This group here has no action from the cards that it can play. So we'll decline to do anything at the present moment. And now over to discard. So do I discard a stream on them? Or do I do a sniper? Sniper might be able to get one, rid of one of these guys permanently. Stream will put them in an uncomfortable position. Let's play a stream. On them. Unfortunately, a stream cannot be rejected. So as they got shot, they stumbled into the stream. The wood's still just ahead of them. Okay. Germans drawing two cards which I don't get to look at. Just remind myself. Okay, so over to the Americans. So they've got a little bit of bother here. Um, they can rally those two, which will probably be the, the, the best thing. For the, in fact, the only thing they can really do. So that's a group. This group here have got no actions that they can do. They haven't got enough firepower to generate those cards. And as they play an action on this group, they can't discard, so they just pick up two cards. Over to the Germans. Well, the Germans have got a nice movement card now. 
but they've got nothing to move into because they can't move into these buildings. So it's time to, um, am I going to risk moving? I hope that they will pick up a card. I think they will. And they will actually move this group. Okay. And with the Germans, if they do a card, they can, any actions on either group, they can also still discard. And we might, I can't see this card being in play buildings for a long time, so they might as well discard the building. Okay, that gives them two cards they can draw. Okay. So was that a risky move? Because I don't know what the firepower of these cards are, because at range one, this guy's got one, two, three, four, I think. five, six. They can generate seven firepower onto this group, which means they could play this card. But see what else they've got here. But, okay, they haven't got a movement card, which is what they definitely need to get out of the stream. So these guys, can they fire on them as well? One, two, three, four, Five. So they can generate five firepower, but they're a minus for being in the stream. These guys can generate enough, so, but they don't have enough for an eight. If they had eight, both groups could fire on them, which is an ideal combo. They don't have that. So this group will fire on these. So it's five over three, plus one for moving four. There's no terrain in effect. So the Germans get to flip to see what they've got here. So they've got any better concealment than they've got. No, nope. they've just got the minus one. So that's a three. Ooh, this could be nasty. So two, three, four, five, one to four. He's the fifth man. So as I said, five, I get three. Movement four, bit of concealment three. Three, his morale is one. Three plus five is eight. That's the magic number I didn't want to see as a German player. Magic number I did want to see as the American player. That's a KIA. Ouch. There's the risk of moving. K I A. All right, so um, actions condition K I A, and that would leave a why can I never? So, this is one of the things with Vassal, he keeps hiding. Things that I'm looking for. There it is. Right. That will leave a machine gun counter. Okay. So let's see if we can find it. So it's a bit German. Not an MMG, it's an LMG. LMG, there we go. In that location. One of the other guys to pick up. Obviously, that crew status is gone. Right. Next guy, four, he's pinned. The fifth. Next guy, also a four, he's pinned. And the last one, some um, effective shooting from the Americans. Oh dear, that hurt. Isn't this girl part? 
Okay. And the Americans can't do really an action on these guys. Um, and they can't discard because they've done an action, so they just gain a card. Oh, the Germans. Eh, that hurt. Okay. So they can hit the dirt, which probably, but they, if they get shot at again, they're in the open. I know that me personally as a player that the Americans have got a firepower card that they can't use, but I don't know what that card is. Or do I rally all to at least, because if they're pinned and get hit again, they, they're gone. But sitting and lying in the open is nothing. So I've got to use one of these cards to do that. I think we'll have to use this one. I flip it. Class it as open ground. Send to disco. Oh. So they hit the dirt in open ground. Not ideal. This group. Nothing. Discard. Well, I think we want to do something about these guys. Okay. Sniper. Okay, so Sniper, I've got to first of all determine which man in this group is actually being attacked. So, random position draw, I flip the counter, counter card. Uh, right, it's a six man group, so I look at the, this card, look at the six, it's the fourth man that's affected, which in this case is this guy here. Okay, that's the building, and it's been drawn at this point, so it is discarded. Yeah. Right. So now I draw a card to see the effect on Private Smith. That's a three, which in this case is a pin. He's pinned. That concludes the German turn. So they draw three cards. See, I keep or keep saying that just as a personal reminder. If it gets irritating, I do apologise. I'm at that age where I need every little prompt that I can get. Right. So what happens next? It's the Americans' turn. So let's flip see what they've got. Okay, so they can do a sniper check on this group as the first action. They have got some rally cards. These guys can't really, well, they could fire on this group without fire one um, at the range, because the range one plus one is range two. At range two, there's one from each of these rifles, one, two, three, four, five. So they could fire on this very unhappy group here, which is probably a good action, and do a sniper check with this group. Okay. Let's do the sniper check first. Do a sniper check. They draw a card. And they're looking at the big num number. If it's a black, four, five, or six, it's got to be higher than the attack card, which was a three, and black to take out the sniper. Oof. They thought they saw them, but they didn't. Okay, this group firing on here, so it's a fire of one, minus one for the stream, this is zero. So these guys have got quite low morale. Okay, so it's a zero firepower. Do the Germans have any concealment card to assist this defense? They do not. So it's attack of zero on four men. Two, three, four. Okay, zero, negative one, no effect. No effect, zero plus zero, zero. Neg six, right, okay. One of their weapons are broken down. Um, let's do an RPC to see which 
random position check to see which man's weapon has broken, malfunctioned. It's a six man group. It's the fourth man. So on here, I will mark his condition, weapon status, his malfunctions. Okay, as you can see that on there. All right. That will drop the fire attack down one level. So it's actually now at neg one. Okay, no effect from the shot. For the Germans, for the Americans. Okay, let's send all those. Right. Um, so that's them firing. Them done a sniper check. So that's the Americans done. They can't discard because they've done actions. And I don't look at that card. Okay. Back to the Germans. All right. They've got four men there that need to rally. They play a rally all card. Rally them all. Okay, send a discard. This group here, they're at range one. They've now got a gully. They are going to move. Hopefully, they, yeah, that should be fine. Increase. They're at a range. They haven't got a concealment guard, but hopefully, they'll pick one up. Do they want a discard? Keeping the rally one just in case anyone gets pinned here. I think they're quite happy with, and that firepower might be useful. But it's only eight. So if they get the LMG back going, that'll be useful. So I won't discard that for them. So they will draw two cards. Okay. So I'm going to call that for the time being. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. I mean, what you're watching, please click like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Any comments, much appreciated.